Hi, this is Marie Maynard O'Connell. I'm the pastor at Park Hill Presbyterian Church. And before we start worshiping today, I wanted to acknowledge something. This is probably the strangest Holy Week in living memory. Uh, it's, it's just odd. And so uh, before we talk about what today's worship is going to be, I just wanted to acknowledge that everyone who is watching this is in a different place. Literally, uh, everyone is isolated in their homes, um, but also I think in a different place emotionally. And some people are feeling really, really scared and other people are feeling anxious and trapped. Some are feeling angry and others are feeling almost happy that the loved ones they have are safe for now. Um, and so I just wanted to say that as we approach worship today, wherever you are is okay to be because God is there with you. None of us are alone, even though we might be isolated. And that kind of brings me to our very different Palm Sunday service today. So normally Palm Sunday is done in the church, lots of pomp and circumstance, waving of palm branches. And this time that's not possible. Instead, we are still going to encourage you to go get a branch, any kind of branch, even a, a piece of grass, uh, to wave during one of the hymns uh, as the uh, palm processional, um, in acknowledgement of a tradition that is both beloved and reviled, um, but also to say that this is the beginning of Holy Week, and it is good to cling to some of our traditions. Um, another thing that I wanted to acknowledge was that today's service uh, is going to be different in how we uh, practice it. So we'll be following the events of most of the week. We won't be focusing just on Palm Sunday. We'll be also looking at the events on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the life of Jesus as they led up to Maundy Thursday and Good Friday. And so I wanted to tell you we're using something called a midrash. Midrash is an ancient Jewish tradition that weaves together the art of storytelling and the truth of scripture. And so today we're going to be hearing about details from the life of Christ and the scriptures in uh, six different characters. We'll be hearing from a young disciple who has uh, watched the uh, parade pass in front of him. We'll also be hearing from a woman who was in the temple when Jesus flipped over the tables. We'll also be hearing from a Pharisee and the woman who broke open the alabaster jar. And finally, we'll also be hearing from one of the disciples who was in the garden of Gethsemane, and we'll hear from Judas. And so I invite you today to open your mind to the creativity and the possibility of hearing scriptures in a different way this week, not only hearing them at home and alone, uh, but also hearing them in the midst of coronavirus epidemic and hearing them in many different voices, certainly more than just my own. And so my prayer for you is that you will join us. You might want to grab a Bible so that you can read along or flip back to it. Um, but more than that, I invite you to open your heart to hearing the story again, hearing it in a new way, hearing it for you exactly where you are. May God bless you in our worship today. Amen.
Hosanna, loud Hosanna, the little children say, through pillared court and temple, the joyful anthem ring to Jesus who has blessed them, close folded to his breast, the children sing their praises, the simplest and the best. From all of it they followed, mid an exultant crowd, the victor palm branch waving and chanting. Sunday, Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. When they neared Jerusalem, having arrived at Bethpage on Mount Olives, Jesus sent two disciples with these instructions. Go over to the village across from you. You'll find a donkey tethered there, her colt with her. Untie her and bring them to me. If anyone asks what you're doing, say, the master needs them. He will send them with you. This is the full story of what was sketched earlier by the prophet. Tell Zion's daughter, look, your king's on his way, poised and ready, mounted on a donkey, on a colt, full of a pack animal. The disciples went and did exactly what Jesus told them to do. They led the donkey and colt out, laid some of their clothes on them, and Jesus mounted. Nearly all the people in the crowd threw their garments down on the road, giving him a royal welcome. Others cut branches from the trees and threw them down as a welcome mat. Crowds went ahead and crowds followed, all of them calling out, Hosanna to David's son. Blessed is he who comes in God's name, Hosanna in the highest. As he made his entrance into Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken. Unnerved, people were asking, what's going on here? Who is this? The parade crowd answered, this is the prophet Jesus, the one from Nazareth in Galilee. This is where the story begins.
to Jerusalem because he had already caused so much trouble, but I heard he was coming. And then he was here, right there, running on a donkey through the streets. And people cut down branches and waved them in the air and sang, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. His bird was 10 times as cool as Pilate's on the other side of the city. I'm so excited. I can't wait for Passover this year. It's going to be epic. I wonder where he's going now. 